true to my roots, I have to talk about climate change first. I talk about climate change first because I know in my heart from studying climate change and climate variability and how the climate system works for over 35 years that this really is the mother of all challenges for humankind in this century. And you know, if you just focus on the challenge like so many of us often do in sort of dark times, you can get really depressed. But you know, this isn't the time to be depressed. This is the time for hope. This is the time to meet the challenges. Once I landed on a large public campus, I realized this is where it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for two primary reasons, and at Michigan for a third. We have the numbers. We have the numbers of faculty and disciplines on these campuses to bring to fore all the disciplines that are needed to solve these wicked environmental real world problems. We have the numbers of students, undergraduate and graduate, that can produce leaders. But Michigan has another attribute that so few large publics have, and that is an incredibly high quality undergraduate body, as well as an incredibly high quality graduate student body. We have another challenge on university campuses. We're being attacked, science is being attacked, Universities are being attacked. Elites are being attacked. We have to be a more functioning partner in society. C's engagement is going to be, take many forms. But the most important form is this idea that we're going to partner in society. We're going to build relationships in society between our faculty, our staff, our students and real world practitioners, whether they be citizens, municipal leaders, municipal workers, water managers, forest managers, public health officials, you name it. We're gonna build relationships. If we can't move the needle more, you know, we're just not doing our job. And it's gonna be through this kind of partnership engagement. It's not gonna replace scholarship. My faculty know that already. We're still gonna be the most buff scholars there are in the country, but we're gonna be a 21st century scholars. There are a lot of innovations in this new school that were developed and brainstormed and bandied back and forth by people in this room and people outside this room, and I thank them. It's the first cross-campus school of its kind, the first cross-campus school of environment and sustainability or for environment and sustainability. This means we can work without any turf battles, I hope, from the farthest reaches of public health and law and medicine and engineering, the liberal arts, social work, education, the list goes on and on. It's a model that attracted me to come here for this stage of my career because I think we can do more in a university setting for environment sustainability in our country and our planet, and in terms of restoring the esteem of our public institutions than any other campus in the nation. That will give us impact that surpasses any other place I think I could be, and I think we're all lucky to be here. This is what we're gonna build on, and we're gonna seize the day. We're going to achieve more real-world environmental and sustainability impact than any other university has. That's our metric of success. We're going to set a new bar for what public universities can do for society. The more universities that follow our lead, the more universities we can help follow our need, the more we'll get done. And that's another measure of our success. <coughs> and we'll do more. This is what's in our heart, right? Everyone in the room, you wouldn't be here. We have to do more than ever before to ensure a sustainable and just world for future generations. So with that, thank you, and go blue.